I'm Steve Rubin. Uh, this is content-based tools for editing audio stories. It was joint work with uh, both my advisor here and some folks at Adobe Research. So audio stories are a common form of communication that appear in radio shows, podcasts, and audiobooks. Here's an example of a highly edited audio story that you might hear on the radio. Uh, notice how the speaker sounds natural and doesn't make any mistakes, and also that the music emphasizes important parts in the story. He's not just a fan. Whenever Bullwinkle makes an appearance these days, that's Keith Scott behind the antlers. He took over as the official voiceover guy in the early 90s. And unofficially, he's the closest thing to a Bullwinkle historian. In episode one, Bullwinkle sets off an international... So now here's a clip from the original footage. The most obvious thing that's different is there's no music, but there's also several mistakes in the speech, unnecessary words that are said, as well as multiple takes of some lines. Okay. He's not just a fan. Whenever Bullwinkle makes an appearance these days, that's Keith Scott behind... Ugh. He's not just a fan. Whenever Bullwinkle makes an appearance these days, that's Keith Scott behind the antlers. So we talked to radio producers, and we've learned that converting this raw footage into highly produced stories involves three main steps. Logging, editing, and adding a musical score. Current interfaces, like Avid Pro Tools, provide timeline-based editing at the waveform level, but this is a very low semantic level of working with audio. But speech and music aren't just arbitrary audio signals. They have a lot of structure, so speech audio is made up of words and sentences and paragraphs, and music is broken into beats, measures, and phrases. So our goal in our work is to allow producers to edit audio stories at a high semantic level. So here's an interface that we've created to address the challenges of production. It has three main sections, a traditional timeline editing view, a transcript view that shows the text of the speech, and a music browser. So the first challenge is logging the speech. Our interface addresses this challenge by aligning the transcript uh, but, so the transcript text from the speech with the speech audio. It also labels breaths and pauses in the audio, which are very important for editing. So you'll be able to see that the words that are being said in the recording are highlighted in the interface. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's not just a fan. Whenever Bullwinkle makes an appearance these days, that's Keith Scott behind. Ugh. He's not just a fan. So the next challenge is to edit the raw footage to focus on the most important points of your story. Our interface addresses the challenge of basic speech editing by allowing the producer to edit the text using standard text editing operations instead of waveform-based operations. Then our system uses the transcript alignment to propagate these changes into the audio. Which naturally attracts the attention of super spy Boris Badenov. Um, yeah, Keith also does Boris. So in this example, the producer decides to cut out the description of Boris Badenov and also to delete the unnecessary um, using copy and paste operations and delete. Which naturally attracts the attention of Boris. The producer often records a person saying multiple versions of one line. Our interface automatically shows alternate takes of sentences. That doesn't really describe America during the Cold War, let alone America today. So the producer can click on that sentence and see other versions. Does that really describe America during the Cold War, let alone the America we live in now? That doesn't really describe America during the Cold War, let alone the America we live in today. So once the producer's listened to these versions, he can pick the one that best fits his story, and it will get synthesized into the audio. So the next challenge is for the producer to add a musical score. Existing, or sorry, exciting musical change points, like the one you're about to hear, can be good to emphasize important moments in the speech. So producers mark points in the speech that they would like to emphasize, and here they're gonna show up as red markers in the speech. So then our system retargets and resynthesizes the music. So it goes through, it finds a better path through the music, regenerates the music, so that the points we want to emphasize in the speech are aligned with the exciting moments in the 90s. music. And unofficially, he's the closest thing to a Bullwinkle historian. 
In episode one, Bullwinkle sets off an international incident when a pie he's making turns out to be the recipe for a super powerful jet fuel, which naturally attracts the attention of super spy Boris Badenov. In real life, the doomsday clock... So we've created several results with this system, um, and I encourage you to check them out at this website, uh, and thanks for your attention.